has, uh, has improved where he's equally at, at home at the net as he is uh, at the back of the court. And uh, the only area that he suffers from perhaps as far as being a, you know, one of the really Quite outstanding, we've got basically uh, many of the world's best players playing, so why wouldn't you stay around? So uh, wonderful opportunity for the Perth crowd here who uh, over so many years have supported this event and uh, continue to do so. And the umpire Jane Harvey informing the crowd gathered here of the format for this. <laughs> nice opening switch. Good court coverage, good uh, net coverage, particularly from the Swiss pairing there. We've, we've spoken that uh, Hewitt may not have played that much out of the mix. A female opponent. Which she could have done yeah, a little bit straight. better there. You really don't want to be hitting a woman in that first game. What well, is a, a special formula? Really good mixed doubles as we hear the section of the crowd chanting for the Aussies. But as uh, Louise suggested, it's all about in any They're format. Probably played towards the opposing female. Reflexes from the Hewitt. Team Australia. And there it is. Climbed all over that backhanded Hewitt. Excellent return from Federer. Mollick serves up around the 170 mark, 170 kilometres an hour mark. for the Australians. A good serve. It was a pretty good return from Vavranek for the Australians all. And a one from Federer. Is that as the score line and a healthy opening for the Australian pairing? A few whispered thoughts between the two as they retreat. Three love in the, for the last uh, 12 months or so and certainly the consistency. He's now wishing to serve successfully well over 60 percent of the time whereas in the past the first serve percentages have often been down below 50 percent a little bit of pressure on Miroslava uh, Vavranek now 15 minutes. good first points you could play a fall like that I think Roger realizes he's going to have to be as active and uh... Oh, good stuff from all players, and particularly Federer there, he's, he was always looking for an opportunity to become involved, and here he's faked you, and he's gone to go to the centre and stayed there, got the volley, now he's gone again, taking a risk, but uh, that's certainly his role out there. In Switzerland. Just got a belly button piercing. <laughs> well, the Swiss, Swiss team are on the board. In the hopping. Beautiful touch there, with the backhand, top spin lob coming from Mirror. Too far forward, lost his pace. 30, 50. It's a trademark of success. So. <laughs> well, here at his best, out of court. Oh. He to fire the way past the two Swiss players. Well, he does. And uh, they indeed register another game of the Australians, though, leading 4-2.
Good service game from Mollick. It takes Australia to a 5-2 lead in the first set. Great control throughout there from Alicia. Well, she's unleashed that forehand. You see the Roger? Cop this. You need to have a good temperament uh, playing. Switzerland. And he pounced well at the net with Roger Federer. The Australians, though, still with that uh, advantage in this first set of the break. They lead 5-3. Dividends for him to this point. We played in a, a change of strategy. In this game from the Swiss combination, both players back on the baseline with Hewitt serving, certainly for the first point when Vavranek was returning, Federer was back on the... Great footwork back, getting back into the net. There's that wide serve again. Comes up about 50% of the time. Well, she's going to... The Australians, Hewitt on a second serve. Gets again to the four. Crisply putting the volley away for a first set to the Australians. Putting up that high ball. But uh, very good play at the moment from the Australian pair. Vavranek probably preferring to stay back for most of the points and hoping that her partner Roger is uh, going to interfere at the net. Again, Miroslava Vavranek there, just not quite doing enough with that first volley. Just gave uh, Leighton Hewitt too much time to react and adjust. the scissors move that was uh, endeavouring to be implemented from just fifteen thirty. I think it's so important that they feel confident in the case that it is a one all a rubber and they really will have to rely on the mixed doubles. It's nice to know you've got a couple under your belt. 30. Well, that's one of the differences between the two opposing ladies at the moment. Mollick able to just generate a little more pace off. Oh! Oh! oh. That's the easiest one! <laughs> well, it with uh, some wizardry there with the rackets. Juice. It really had to be his point, didn't it? Well, the half volley between the legs. He uh, just got the back end of that rally, but earlier he'd come in and uh, pick up the ball with the half volley between the legs and then missed. Game Australia. Well, the Australian seemingly were walking through this match. Uh, the Swiss might need a bit of uh, Federer Australia leads two games zonal two. play as in the second set of the... Got him. <laughs> I love that. Volley, obviously, too short. And, uh, got him again. And Federer cut. Deserves, uh, one or two of those. Juice. Well, that scissors formation that they uh, were employing there, the Swiss, is pretty dangerous on the second serve. Game Australia. Uh, consecutive doubles to concede a very, very soft game for the Australians. Australia leads three games to love.
Well, a little fortunate there, perhaps, from Mollick, but good volleys well, Australian make Australian junior champion, in fact. Game Australian. Indeed, and uh, she, she's still got uh, a lot of the touch, too. And good from the baseline. Stand. The angle is better than the overhead bounce. He was trying to put a bit of topspin on that one to get over. Thank you. This was the previous point where the uh, the lobbing and smashing drill was in operation. There you can see Leisha's enjoying it. Say, come on, let's continue this, but it wasn't to be. Defensive play from uh, Alicia Mollick. And all of a sudden, she uh, 30 foot here. Had that tantalizing point within reach after it uh, seemed to be out of reach. Game Switzerland. And they're on the board in the second set. We saw the Aussies in tandem before. Now here's the Swiss combination. You can see Miroslav Vavronek looking ahead. Both players looking to cover the middle. Rogers a bit close, he needs to backtrack, ready to cover the lob. Split step there from Vavronek. Not particularly comfortable at the net. Closing a little much there and Federer having to uh, cover the lob, but the lob, fortunately, wasn't uh, so deep. Vavronek now back and Federer holds his position, hoping that if his partner smashes well, that he can then become further involved. See that left arm up tracking the ball. A little cramped. Backhand smash. One of the tougher shots in the game. Takes some real strength. Federer needing to come back into the picture to take the net position. And it is very much good doubles about understanding your court positioning, understanding your partner's court positioning and covering accordingly. 15 love. Oh. 30 love. Australia. We didn't have the stopwatch on that game, but it was blisteringly quick. And the Australians yeah, leave. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fine controlled return from the Vavronek. Oh, they're really cramping it for room, but here it again has the answer. And that brings up two match points for the Australians. Game set match, Australia. Two sets to love. Well, the Australians make it three nil in this first match of the Hopman Cup and they've defeated uh, the Swiss pairing in the singles and the doubles and a really conclusive victory there 6-3, 6-1 six, six, Welcome there. ladies and gentlemen a record crowd here as we welcome back the defending champions from Switzerland Miloslav Zavn Zavnovic I can't get even that one can't sneeze that one that's a tough one Roger Federer First, uh, a tough one for you today. Uh, welcome to Perth. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I enjoy it really very much. It, the hotel is nice. Um, well, the site is very nice. The people here are very nice. So, <laughs> is the guy is the guy you're with? Is he very nice? <laughs> yeah, he's very nice as well. <laughs> 
Well, it's very tough uh, for you to uh, fill the shoes of Martina Hingis, and um, she's played so well here, undefeated here, and uh, so uh, good luck the rest of the way. Um, yeah, I think, um, well, I think nobody can be better than Martina. <laughs> She, she was playing so well, uh, especially mixed doubles with Roger last year. I was in Auckland watching every match and, uh, well, it's tough for me to replace her. So uh, Roger's phone bills were pretty expensive last year, is that what you're trying to tell us? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, they were. Well, Roger says they were anyhow, but uh, welcome back again and a tough one today with, with Leighton. Uh, it's, it's difficult, as we mentioned, at the end of the year or the start of a new year for you fellows. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I obviously had the better preparation than he had. He only probably had like a week or two holidays. I had three and a half weeks holidays plus four weeks of practice. So I thought I might even be the favorite coming into this match, but he's got just too much confidence right now with the Masters victory and... Uh, finishing number one but a great job from him especially well you enjoy it down here roger we've seen you play here and peter carter is an australian that has helped you over the years he's still looking after you no now it's <laughs> peter lundgren yes um, but peter carter's in the davis cup team now he's trying to be a captain not trying to be he is but yeah <laughs> but he hasn't got the passport <laughs> A small problem. Peter Lundgren uh, used to play on the tour and I know him quite well, but Peter Carter's trying to get a passport. Tough to get those Swiss passports. Especially when you're Australian, eh? <laughs> well, you know, you can go to the locker room. It's okay if that's the way you feel. No. <laughs> but congratulations on a good effort today and uh, it's a tough week ahead of you and we'll see you later in the week. Okay.